Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have one of my kiddos with me. That's Marcus. And we are going to show you an inside look of one of my favorite math curriculums. Now, a little backstory. I have also done a video on why it is my favorite, but long story short, I have found that this math program has worked the best for us. So this is our eighth year of homeschooling. I have six children. Four of them are actually school age and they all have done very well with this curriculum, like I said. I find that it's a really good fit for kids who do well with Spiral, and it's a really good fit for kids who do well with a mastery-based program, and it's just, it's just very comprehensive and thorough, and my kids love it. You really like your math, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> he's not just saying that because he's on camera. So I'm gonna give you an inside look today of what it's like to do a lesson, how it's laid out. As I said before, I have done a previous video giving the reasons of why it's my favorite. So I will link it down below as well. So let's get started. Okay, so the way this math curriculum is set up is you have your teacher guides and then you have the student books, which act, which actually happen to be called lot units, which means that each unit of math that they learn is in a separate little paper consumable, okay? Now, I really like this math because of that reason, because it makes them really feel really accomplished at each time that they finish one of these little lot units. It's a good visual for them. Um, and so the way that it is set up is each unit has lessons, of course, but interspersed in the lesson, there is two quizzes that are really quick and simple. There is also a unit test that they do at the very end, which they actually put in the middle of the booklet. Um, and then there are also speed drills in the back for each level. And I'll kind of go over that so you guys can see how that works. So I'm gonna get started teaching this lesson. This lesson actually happens to include a quiz. So you'll get to kind of see how that works. And so I'll show you how it's done. All right, so in my teacher book, I'm gonna cover up the answers, Marcus. <laughs> in my teacher book here, you'll see it tells you everything you need for preparation, okay? So you're gonna need the quiz because that comes after this lesson. You're gonna need the flashcards and it tells you which ones. Now, we actually don't do the flashcards. I haven't found them necessary for my kiddos. They do really well at just memorizing the facts by doing the speed drills each day. But some people I know would rather do the flashcards rather than the speed drills. So you can just kind of do whichever way fits your kiddo or family best. So then it has um, that they actually do quiz two first. Okay, so there are some things like right here where you have to, he's sitting right beside me, where you have to say the different things out loud and then they complete it on their test. Um, and then there are also like the little word problems and things like that. Then when you meet with the student again, after completing the quiz, you drill flashcards if you find that necessary, and then you administer the speed drill. And all that means is that you see how many they can get correct in one minute. Typically my kids will finish them, but as it gets to the upper levels, it does get a little bit harder. All right, so you're gonna write the numbers I say on number one. 110. 37. 129. 92. 89. Okay, now time for your story problem. Listen carefully. One night, Samuel heard a voice calling his name. After Samuel heard his name the third time, Eli told him to go back to bed and listen carefully. When he heard his name again, he said, 
Speak, Lord. One more time, God called. How many times did God call Samuel that night? <laughs> you got it? All right. Mm -hmm. Complete the rest of it on your own. You're going to do this side and this side. Okay. When you're done, let me know. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm leaning over awkwardly. Now he's finished with his quiz. Before we start with your new lesson, let's do your speed drill. Okay. You're on this one right here. Make sure you pay attention to your signs. <laughs> and I will time you for one minute. Okay? Mm. All right. Hold on. Let me get it going. All right. Whoops. Ready, set, go. Done. You had 17 seconds left. <laughs> okay. Good job. I watched you do them all and you got them all right. So good job. You want to write 20 in the box? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's go back to lesson 54. Mommy, I did it just like you. You did. You did it just like me. Okay. So let's go back to lesson 54. Okay. Right here. Okay. So you already did the top part. You counted your tens and your ones, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember the last time we were adding three numbers, okay? So how did you do that before? Do you remember? Yep. So what do you so do? So I add one and then another one and then a and three. Then, well, but we talked about the process to do that. You can make it simpler if you say the first two numbers. So one plus one is what? Two. Okay, two plus... Three is five. Yeah. So remember we talked about, nope, up here. Oh. <laughs> like that can make it simpler, right? Okay, so mm -hmm. walk me through this one the way we just talked about. So two plus two equals four and four plus zero is um, four. Good job. Okay, and I didn't think about this, but just so you guys can see an example of what the workbook page looks like. So typically the way it looks is there is a new concept that is gone over here at the top. This is a little bit different looking just because it is um, a quiz one. So hold on. Marcus, can you give me just a second? Put your hand there to hold the place. So as an example, this is what a lesson typically looks like. You'll have your new um, concepts that are introduced here, like new math facts and things like that. Um, and then this is a newer concept. We've already gone over something similar before, but this is just going over it more in depth. And then you have the I can do this section, which is all things that they've done previously, and they will just pick some different um, concepts that were previously learned and that is their independent section so that's just an example of what it normally looks like all right buddy so you keep on going oh you're not done with this now do you remember this yeah we just yeah, yeah. went over this and what so, should what could you do to figure out this number um so what plus three equals four is right. is you can you can get that and then look at that and then you know it's one. Well, and you, the way you can yeah. do that with a plus sign is you just invert it. You subtract yeah. it, right? So it yeah. gives you one. 
you you invert it so it's like kind of like twin facts remember remember mm -hmm. the triangle that you've been yeah. working with oh yeah, yeah. okay so actually over here. so then you would just like you moved this guy down here and subtracted him you can move this guy down here and add him to find out this number right so oh yeah you already wrote it down it's five right yep okay so keep mm -hmm. on going buddy Okay, so as you can see, it is really quick to teach as far as being teacher intensive or anything like that. I have found it to be very minimal, especially at a young age, which is really cool. And it really honestly fosters independence, which I think is wonderful even from a very young age. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea. We're going to go ahead and stop the video here just so, since... It gives you a good look at what a lesson is like. He's just going to finish up his little I can do this section and then we'll be done with math for the day. So this really only takes us about 20 minutes at the most per day. Now my older son who's in the higher levels, it takes him more like 30 minutes a day, but it's very effective. It's great at helping to retain what is learned and just all around this is why I love this math. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys today, and I hope to see you on future videos. Thanks so much, guys, and have a blessed day.